We're going to start today. This is your third visit on some of these things we're doing for you here. Uh, the uh, epidermoid cyst that was infected that we removed. We're going to unpack it. We're going to remove that packing. And let's take a look at it today. You still taking your antibiotics, right? Yes, sir. Good. Any fevers or chills? No, sir. Any pain? Not really. Not really? Okay, we're going to just pull this dude out of here. Breathe. Good work, little Gonzo. That dressing looks very good. You can see in there, Gonzo, a nice, clean wound. Okay. So, guess what? We don't have to repack this for you today. Okay, good. We're going to just put a gauze on it and put a dressing over it. And the reason being is it's staying open by itself, so we don't have to worry about it closing up and forming a new abscess or anything like that. Okay. So we want to do that, keep it open, right? We want to keep it open. So now what you can do is you can take the dressing off when you take a shower and let water get on it or whatever. Just don't mess with it. Okay. Now, if you have any problem with it down the line, just let us know and we'll let you know what to do. But just put gauze and right. and, and tape over the gauze. You betcha, because it is going to ooze just a little bit. You'll get just a little, you know, kind of what we call serous fluid, which is basically just... Uh, body fluid essentially okay. that'll just leak out onto it while it's healing and and eventually it'll go ahead and granulate and there'll be like pink healthy tissue will kind of grow in from the bottom okay okay so we're going to stop our video and then we're going to put this dressing on dressing on and then we'll we'll resume okay back up again all right mr colby we're live again all right. and we're going to point out here uh these are the actinic keratoses that we uh treated with the liquid nitrogen yesterday mm -hmm. and you can see they've got some redness around them now so they're already starting the the um the uh, process of dying off, I should say, uh, the frostbite process, you could say, too. And in a couple of days, these will swell up even more, and then they'll dry back down, and they should just peel off or fall off. Okay. All right. So what we've got here, I've circled some new little lesions for people to see here. These are really small for the most part, but they're pores of whiner. And really all that is is just a retained blackhead. They're not dangerous, but... Since you've been so good to come in and let us uh, video you, we're going to take these off for you. And uh, as a bonus, how's that sound? Oh, wonderful. Yes, that's what I'm saying too. And after this, unless you have a new problem, you won't have to come back in. Yeehaw. How's that sound? That sounds really good. Of course, you're welcome to come in. You just don't have to. You know, except to bring Gonzo a Christmas gift. Okay. I think we made that one clear, right, Gonzo? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we've Did got Gonzo a little... had fun at the party yesterday. I had a blast. Okay. Mr. Gonzo came by, actually. Yeah. All right. I've got a little uh, lidocaine with epinephrine, just a really small little injection. I'm going to do on all of these so that uh, we can squeeze them out without causing you a bunch of pain. Mm -hmm. You should barely feel these. Mm hmm. Just like a little, a little bee sting, mm -hmm. teeny tiny. How was that? Mm -hmm. Did you even feel it much? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. A little bit's okay. I'm using a tuberculin syringe, which I believe has a 30 gauge needle on it. It's tough to even feel the stick, right? 27. Okay, well, that's like a 30. 27 is very close. I'm correcting you. Yes, I know. I have no problem with that. You correct me all the time. It's my turn. Okay. I'm just kidding. You gonna be watching the game this weekend, Mr. Colby? You betcha. You gonna be rooting for the Colts? <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> Somebody other than the Colts? Yes. Okay. Well, that one started to come out. Yep. Yep. All right. It was so funny. We got a couple little extractors we're going to use here. Is there one on my right? Uh, uh, well, never mind. I'll... We can look at it when we get done with this one. Let's start right here. See if the, oh, let's take. A, you know what I didn't get was a scalpel. Do a timeout and let's get a scalpel. Sorry, okay. sir. I'm like using your back as a. <laughs> she's she's leaning on oh, you a yeah. little bit there. All right, we're gonna make a little nick here, and that's why we used the the lidocaine so that we could do this part here good this one's a larger one you have up here in the mid upper back probably had this one a long time this one not real terribly big come the other direction with it too can you see little gonzo i want to get close 
You get a good picture. I'm trying to. And then I'm going to come way over here. Sorry if my hands are shaky. It's just you're so old, you know, you get I shaky when you get old. old. All right, let's come back over here. Let's see if we can get this first one to jump out. A little pressure on it there. Do you yeah. feel much there? Mm -mm. There we go. A little bit coming out there. That one wasn't very big at all. It just kind of looked bigger than it was. I'll push it again down. Does that hurt? Or mm -hmm. you just feel the pressure? No, doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. All right, let's get this one here. Oh, yeah. The big one coming out there. Push again this direction. Make sure it's empty. Yep, it's empty. Well, maybe right there. I'll make sure they all come out. Now, if you feel any pain, you let me know. I can always give you a little more medicine. Oh, well, there's this. no pain at all. Let's get this one right here. No pain at all? Mm -mm. Gonzo, did you give him the really good stuff? Yeah, I liked him. You must like Mr. Colby. There we go. That one came right out as well. These are fairly shallow for the most part, so they're coming right out. Yeah, they're, they're not all... Oh, this one's really big, Gonzo. You there. Did that come out of there? Yeah, this one was really a large one. Now, did you feel a little more pressure on that one? Not no, much. you did not, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's empty. Good. Let's get this one right here. Can you see, little Gonzo? Move the sharp object. Morning, rock stars. It's rock star Beth. So today I want to tell you about this really cool um, energy supplement that I came across. It's called Meta 7. Dr. John Gilmore is the creator. And basically, I'm always looking for the next best energy supplement to keep me going throughout my crazy day between two kids, a husband, four dogs, a job. and The list goes on and on. We all know. Um, so when I came across Meta 7 by Dr. John Gilmore, I really liked it because for a couple reasons. Um, it's a sustainable energy throughout my day. It's not like a hard, you know, chug Red Bull, get a nice pick me up and then crash super hard. It's not like that at all. Um, it lasts throughout the day, little, almost little spurts here and there. The only thing that was interesting for me, not even, a, not even a bad thing is that it took a couple weeks to really get in my system, I think, and start working on a regular basis where I fell out, wake up feeling rested, um, I wake up feeling like I can take on the day. And that's how I felt today. So I definitely just want to share because I know there's a lot of you guys out there who have the same everyday struggles in life uh, to keep it going as I do. And this definitely helps. So if you want to give it a whirl, click on the description below and the link and um, get you some. So next time, guys. Like a little one right there. You see that one, little Gonzo? Mm -hmm. You may feel a little bit on these. Mm -hmm. They're really small. So we're not going to inject them because the the sting of the injection is probably the same of just taking these out for you. You okay? Yeah, it's fine. If it hurts too much, you just say, hey, that one hurt, Doc, and mm -hmm. we'll immediately stop. you got a little whitehead right there. Got that for you. Got a little one right there. Didn't come out. Let's try this one right here. There we go. A little bit there. When they're real small like that, they uh, a little trickier. There we go. So it's probably the reason here is I got lazy and quit using my back scrubbing brush. Well, I wouldn't say lazy. Maybe a little bit. You know. Maybe you just weren't that concerned about it anymore. That's all. Yeah, that's gonna be okay there all right we got a bunch of them out for you though okay and you got some really really small ones left we'll keep an eye on those for you in the future if they get any larger or we get another okay. opportunity we'll do some of those for you too okay but i know we got all the big ones out didn't we gonzo mm -hmm. we miss any big ones at all i don't see any yeah some really big ones out there yeah wait let's see if we can get that right there there's one there 
I think it's one of those things where if you just keep looking at it, you probably find another one here or there. Mm -hmm. Little bitty ones. That one didn't sting? Mm -mm, a little bit, not much. Want me to get another one here? It's kind of addictive taking these out. My turn. Your turn. Should have let Gonzo do them for you. She'd be good at it. There we go. There you go. You look pretty uh, spruced up there. <laughs> Except for the red spots all over and the big dressing on your back and, <laughs> and the little blood stains. You look great. That's it. <laughs> when I get up, I'll ask. ask you. Hang on, hang oh, on. Okay. You want to ask a question? No, I, I got to get up. Okay, all right. All right. So we're going to stop the video here and we want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Okay. And we want to thank you for sharing with us. And um, we know you're going to heal well and uh, things are going to look great. And maybe someday in the future when you come back for something else, we can do a little follow-up and just take a picture of your bag and show everybody how it turned out and how things look after you.